Hello, this video is for Powerpack users and it's just to discuss a couple of things as a result of the release of their pre-designed templates that came out a couple of days ago. Now there is a blog post article which pretty much covers everything you need to know but there are a couple of points in there that I think I missed out so this video is covering those. Also it's to let you know about my live demo site where I've already set it up with the page templates that they've provided and the sales funnel templates here. So you can mess around in the back end and test them out for yourself. They are great templates. I think it's a wonderful addition, but I just wanted to cover a couple of points in here. So on the page templates themselves that we're looking at, it is mentioned here that you can change the presets. So what actually happens when you load these onto a page, and I can show you here with this example, it will take on the styling that you've already got in your theme. It's probably set in your customizer. But if you want the style that they set when they were designing it, you can get that by, as the article says, going over to the customizer and selecting one of their presets. And as you can see here, that's changed uh, the font style over here. It's also changed the header. So it's setting up all of the styles that you'll need to show that page at its optimum, or at least the way that they designed it to show. So that's what you need to do if you're going to mess around with my templates over here. Uh, while I really, why I wanted to mention it is that if you do this, change the templates here, you lose anything that you've got. So if you're working on a site at the moment and you just wanted to test this out, any CSS you put in and your layouts are going to go as soon as you select this. So the smart thing to do is to actually download this plugin from the repository. It's been mentioned in an article on the Beaver Builder blog too, and it's from Justin Busa, the lead developer for Beaver Builder. And what that does puts in a little tab in your customizer where you can export a file and import that back to get and save your settings in customizer. So that's that the first point. And the next point is when we move on to row templates, these have been turned on by default here. The settings are under you know, WP dashboard and the settings and then power pack settings. And I wanted to mention here that it's not showing the same for me. There is no colored option. They are all grayscale. So this isn't showing. So if you don't see this either, that's probably just this release and maybe something's coming out later. Also that you can turn off the different sections of row templates. So you don't have to have them all. But it has been loaded this time, a bit of a gripe of mine. If I put this on client sites, they're gonna find in their interface a new tab with these settings on it and without any training. So wasn't particularly keen on that. Also to mention as well that if you are a owner of the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder, you'll probably not be seeing the row sections or row templates. Here's, here's a problem again here. Um, Row templates is what it's called uh, by Beaver add-ons because that was the request uh, from Ultimate that they would call it something different and they call it sections. I find it a bit confusing now to talk as we share both of them. Um, but, you know, you cannot have one with the other at the moment. So perhaps that will change at some point. Otherwise, these are really good. I like the fact that they're grayscale and you can drag them in. You can see what the layout is and it's great for that kind of wireframing mentality, which I prefer. Anyway, that was all that this uh, was about, just to cover a couple of these points here and also just to mention that you can go in here and mess around with them yourself. Okay, hope that's useful. Talk to you soon.